Flashback to January 2023, and everyone was talking about the property market crashing. But it's January 2024 now, and nothing's happened. Or has it? In this video, we're going to look at why a crash was forecast for 2023, the signs that it might now have started, and how you can use this to your advantage. But in order to do that, I first need to take you back to 2021 and tell you the story of Dave. Imagine Dave went shopping for a house in 2021 with a monthly budget of £1,000 for his mortgage, leaving him enough left over for bills and living costs. With enough of a deposit and a clean credit history, Dave's conversation with his mortgage broker would have been very positive. He could have potentially borrowed with an interest rate as low as 2%. So he could have borrowed £250,000 and still hit his monthly budget, assuming that he was repaying over a 25-year term. But Dave just couldn't quite find the perfect house, so he decided to wait in until 2023. So what happened? Well, by then mortgage rates had gone up a lot. That 2% borrowing was long gone. Banks were now asking for 5%. So with the same thousand pound budget, he couldn't borrow 250,000 anymore. He could only borrow 175,000. But of course, that wasn't just true for Dave. It was the case for everyone who wanted to buy a home with a mortgage. And it was also true for investors, because if they bought a property for the same price, but with a much more expensive mortgage, they'd make a lower rental profit or even a loss. So logically, what would you expect to happen? Well, you'd expect house prices to fall because the prices that houses were changing hands for in 2021 were supported by the amount that buyers could afford to borrow. So if buyers could no longer borrow that much, their buying power would decrease, meaning that any seller who didn't want their property to just sit on the market would be forced to cut the price. And of course, lots of homeowners might be forced to sell because their own mortgage rates had gone up. And this is why all the experts thought a crash was inevitable in 2023, with some predicting house prices would go down by 10% or more. But did it happen? No, not even close. In fact, up to November 2023, property prices were only down by around 2% according to Nationwide and 1% according to Halifax. So the next logical thought would be that the crash would just be delayed into 2024, right? Well, no. Weirdly, those exact same experts who were predicting a 5 to 10% crash in 2023 are now saying that the market will go down by no more than 3% in 2024, which seems crazy because there are three big reasons to suspect that 2024 could be the year that the property market finally stops defying gravity. Let's imagine Dave did in fact buy a house in 2021 with his £1,000 mortgage budget. If he'd borrowed on a three-year fixed rate deal, he'd be having some sleepless nights right now because he'd be due to refinance this year. When he does, he'll probably see his payments jump from 2% up to maybe 5%, which means he'll need to pay an extra £402 per month. That's almost a 40% increase on his previous budget. If he can't afford that, well, he'd need to sell the house in a hurry. And he wouldn't be alone. Between now and the end of 2024, about 1.9 million homeowners will come to the end of their cheap mortgage deal. 2023 was supposed to be the year that the UK fell into recession. But even though the economy didn't exactly power ahead, it didn't collapse in the way that the Bank of England had originally expected. And as a result, people seem to have been lulled into a false sense of security. However, the Bank of England is still anticipating a 50-50 chance of recession in 2024. And what happens during recessions? People lose their jobs. And when people lose their jobs, they're unable to pay off their mortgages and might need to put their house up for sale before the bank takes it off them. So if more people are losing their jobs and fewer people can afford their mortgages, a lot of people are gonna to need to sell their homes. And these people are not gonna be selling their homes in a comfortable position. They'll be panic selling, trying to get the house sold quickly so they can bring down their living costs. So it's no coincidence, the average discount negotiated off house asking prices has reached its highest since 2018. Because not only is there more supply and less demand, but sellers are willing to agree to discounts in order to get deals done faster. So when you consider rising interest rates, a chance of recession, and record discounts on asking prices, it really does sound like the perfect storm for prices to plummet. So why is no one predicting a crash for 2024? Do they think the market has adjusted better than expected? Or have they failed to spot the storm on the horizon? Well, here's my take on it. The crash is already well underway. 
Here's an example to explain what I mean. Imagine in January last year, I'd offered you a job for £50,000 a year. We started working together and things went well. So in January this year, you come to me to negotiate your pay, but I'm only willing to offer you £50,000 again. Now, I haven't reduced your salary, but technically you are earning less money because the price of everything around you has become more expensive. Food, electricity bills, transport, everything. So your £50,000 is worth less. It might not seem like it, but I'm asking you to take a pay cut. And this is what's happening now with house prices. Everything's been getting more expensive, but house prices have stayed pretty much the same. So if you adjust the numbers for inflation, house prices aren't down by 2%, like some sources claim. They're actually down by 15%. And in the coming year, if prices do fall just a little bit, like the experts predict, and everything else continues to get more expensive, then we could be looking at a 25% drop. And we can definitely agree that that is a crash. Only it's a silent crash because you don't see it. So is it time to panic? Well, no, because from an investor's point of view, this is the best possible outcome. And 2024 could actually be one of the best times to buy in recent history. But why is that? Well, firstly, although the national average tells you that prices have dipped by 2% or so, in truth, that's pretty meaningless because it's impossible to buy the average UK house. In fact, in 2023, when the average price fell, prices actually increased in 22% of the country, including parts of the Northwest and the Midlands. So whatever happens in 2024 on average, that doesn't mean it applies to you. You can buy in one of the areas that's primed for further growth and avoid the areas that are most vulnerable to the risks we've described. Secondly, if you were taking out a mortgage three years ago at an interest rate of 2%, you knew it was going to go up at some point. It was just a matter of time. How much time? You couldn't know. Whereas if you buy at today's rates of around 5 to 6%, it's unlikely to increase that much more. So you know that if the figures in your investment work today, they're likely to still work 5, 10, 15 years from now. Thirdly, while the market is uncertain, and property prices are heading downwards, rents have been rising fast. And while they might not keep growing as rapidly as they have been over the last year, there's little sign of them slowing down. So you can take advantage of uncertainty in the market to do a deal that works well based on today's rents. With your mortgage pretty static and rents rising, you can expect your income to grow and grow over time. Fourthly, if you borrow £300,000 from the bank for your mortgage, that debt stays the same forever, £300,000. Granted, you need to pay interest on that mortgage, but that should always be covered by the rent you're receiving. It's not an extra cost that you need to budget for. However, based on centuries of data, we can safely predict that property prices will go up over time. Will they go up in 2024? Who knows? Maybe they'll defy the experts and they will go up. Or maybe the impact of higher rates and a potential recession will send them down further than expected. But over a time measured in decades, well, they will go up, even if the price increase is only in line with inflation. So 20 years later, once you've paid the mortgage off and the house is yours, it'll be worth way more than the original £300,000 that you borrowed from the bank. So if you play the long game and map out your investment for the next 10 to 20 years, as long as you're not forced to sell at a bad time, it's really hard to lose. So is 2024 the worst year to buy a house? Well, not everywhere. In some parts of the country, it could be a great year to scoop up deals. Because the supply of houses on the market has increased, some sellers will be under pressure to sell quickly. And there's still plenty of uncertainty that will keep buyers out of the market throughout the year, giving you less competition. However, in other regions of the country, 2024 could be a nightmare year to invest. So to find out which regions they are and avoid a bad investment, check out this video here.